Well, after losing both her brother and her father to an avalanche on the North Pakistan mountain K2, entrepreneur and adventurer Sequoia Schmidt embarked on her own trek to retrace their steps and try to recover their remains. This inspirational story is told in her first autobiographical novel, Journey of Heart. Please welcome to the cafe Sequoia Schmidt. Yeah. Thank you. Corey, you were saying that you've just, when you it just landed in New Zealand on the flight on the way over, you saw your father on TV on, on Air New Zealand. On Air New Zealand, yes. There's a TV show called Wild About New Zealand, and um, Gus Roxburgh, who's in the show, actually lives in Los Angeles where I live, and he told me that Dad was on it, and I'd never actually seen the whole episode. And then on the flight over here, it was it, it was very surreal. What was it that was like? Um, it made me feel like I was coming home. Oh, Good. nice. <laughs> nice. And, and what are you doing back here? I'm home for the first time in 10 years. Um, you know, obviously it's, I lost my father and my brother, so it's incredibly emotional for me to come back here. Um, and I, I felt like after doing this trek and after going into K2, I felt like I was, I was ready to come and to share my writing with with New Zealand, which is series. very exciting. Yes, congratulations on the book. Um, let's find out a little bit more about how this journey happened. You, you mentioned you lost your, your father and your brother. Um, how did you find out about that? Because that's quite a pivotal point to this story, isn't it? Mm. I lost them in 2013, and um, they were hit by an avalanche while they were at Camp 3 on K2. Uh, I found out through a phone call. That's awful. And this happened in 2013. And then in 2015, you were watching a video by another climber, weren't you? And then partway through, what happened there? I saw an image of um, some remains ahead on a glacier and uh, thought it would be my brother. So I was issued an emergency visa and I flew to Pakistan and completed a 17-day trek into the mountain. That must have just been the most awful time when you're watching this video and you're thinking that's your family there. It was. I guess the instant thing you want to do is get that visa and just get there mm -hmm. and see them. Mm -hmm. Pakistan's one of the most dangerous places to be in. Were you worried or were you not focused on that, focused on getting the remains identified? I was very focused on um, my mission to get in there and to find the remains to see the mountain. It was a, a very physical journey, a physical challenge and an emotional challenge. How long me. did it take? Um, the total trip was approximately 30 days. And did you think you were being kidnapped at one stage when you were in Pakistan? <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, I mean, I was living in the U.S. for the last 10 years, right? And so there's a lot of preconceived notions about going into a mm. predominantly Muslim country. And the book talks about that. It, it discusses what it's like to be a non-Muslim young woman traveling alone through a country like Pakistan and um, my fears coming into that. Uh, and I guess there was a lot of self-discovery. Not only were you on a mission for you and your family for closure, but there would have been a lot of self-discovery on this journey. What did you learn about yourself doing this? So much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying is like, you know, I... Unfortunately, I avoided coming back to New Zealand because I was scared it would be too painful. Um, my memories of my family are here. And that's and valid. That's a really valid feeling, I think. Yeah. So, so I learned that I could conquer some of my greatest fears on this journey. And it inspired me to write the book. And it also inspired me to return home. And now you've returned home to inspire others. This is no ordinary tour. This is no ordinary book tour, is it? <laughs> You're not going to fly in and sign a book or two, are you? No, no that's not your style. Yeah, no. how are you doing it? Tell everyone how you're doing it. I am biking the entire tour, nine cities across New Zealand. So it will be me and uh, my bike and a little trailer with my tent and my stove and going full dirt bag style on it. So when, so when you turn up to these signings, you've got to make sure that maybe you don't sit near Sequoia during the signings. Because you <laughs> I have plenty of deal with me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing some climbing as well? I am. I, well, I'm going to try. I mean, obviously, um, a climb is weather dependent, and we have a short weather window um, for, for my climb, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, let's just go back to Pakistan at K2 for a moment. So you got to the mountain and you found the remains, but they weren't your family, were they? But you still felt that you needed to give them a, a proper burial. Uh, yes, we, we honoured and wrapped and buried the remains that we found. Did you find out who it actually was? Uh, I can't discuss that. Okay. So now that you're back home, you know, you were away for a long time, you, you've come back home, one of the first things you see on the plane is an image of your dad. Has it been harder coming back to New Zealand than you thought, or has it been easier? That's a wonderful question. Um, 
I'll let you know. <laughs> Grief's a funny thing, isn't it? It's, it is. it's like you, you find, uh, I think, quite often that you'll end up walking around and then just bawling out <laughs> in public about something because you've seen something that reminds you of, of, of your family. But I think that's also a good thing to be doing. It is. I, I think that just like writing this book and taking this journey, this, this trip around New Zealand is going to be a process in its own. Yeah. A way to process my grief. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> no, and I think people are going to be inspired by you as well. You know, not only the book, but getting out and seeing you and meeting you face to face. There's a certain smelling kind of... Smelling you as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's an energy. <laughs> Maybe it's the smell. smelling my energy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, welcome home. Thank and, you. And um, congratulations on everything that you've achieved yeah. so far. And I'm sure it's going to be a great tour. Great to have you here. Thank yeah. you so much. Sequoia's amazing book, Journey of Heart, is out now and available from all good bookstores. You've got to read it. And you can catch up with her across the country on her nationwide tour. Go to the website on screen for details.